So what was it like to build a model back in the 70s, 80s, or even the 90s? Well, I jumped up on eBay and bought a bunch of vintage model kits just to take that trip in the Wayback Machine. And today, we're going to start taking a look inside the Monogram's 1974 issue of the Devastator TBD-1. So, let's get to it. Yeah, we got the instructions. Actually, I can already... Yeah, this is going to be weird, but... It's got that, that old attic-y paper smell. Which, uh... And that nice creamy yellow color. Not sure how well the camera's picking that up. But, uh... It's definitely an old kit. In fact, the instructions... The instructions are pretty, um... <laughs> Well, I guess they're not too ambiguous. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot to it. Let's see, 11, 11 steps here. So what, 15 steps total? Yeah, not too bad. So 148th. Doesn't have a whole lot for 148th, especially by today's standards, but but that's all right. Um, I'm just going to set this here for a second. Uh, actually, the decals, surprisingly... They're not very yellowed. Actually, the color looks pretty good. I don't think he would have thrown new decals in the box. Let me see. Does it have the, does it have the date on here somewhere? No, it does not. No, it does not. But, it actually obviously kept somewhere good. Decals in good shape. I'm hoping I don't have to use any of that decal film. We have some clear parts that are missing some parts, so hopefully those are floating around on the box here somewhere. We'll find out. Put those aside here. Got the fuselage and some wing, the uh, body wing components. Don't see any missing parts here. Everything's there. Fantastic. All right. Raised panel lines. Yeah, it's to be expected. 1974. A little bit of flash. Yeah. Nothing crazy, though. Interesting. And next sprue we have up here. We got some cockpit parts. Some wheels. Engine. Wings. Okay. Oh, looks like one piece missing here. Again, okay, hopefully we'll see what's floating around in the box. Uh, more wing parts. Uh, looks like the cockpit. Yeah. Some really basic details. That's all right. I'm not going to do anything fancy with this. I'm going to build it just basically straight out of the box. I don't, I don't usually get into a lot of scratch building. Maybe someday I will. Oh, we got some gaps here. Well, I'm going to guess. I'm, actually, I'm not going to guess. I'm not sure what these parts are. But we got one, two, three, four, five, six numbers missing parts. So let's crank you. We're going to try to push this over. So we're going to move you off to the side. Here. So, six... One, two, three, that's a broken screen, four, five. All right, so there's going to be a couple parts missing. Uh, hopefully they're not critical. Uh, or hopefully I can scratch build them. Then we have... Inside of the wings, machine guns. Yeah, excellent. So, not a lot of parts, not overly complicated. Other than being from 1974. Uh, I can get the clear parts. There are two here. I am missing three. Let's see. Let's see, it looks like I am missing 
Oh, well, that looks like a 67th. And this looks like a 72. Oh, wait, that's a 68. The 68 and a 72, so I'm missing a 67. So it looks like I am building the open version. All right, that's fine. So there you go. A model kit from 1974. The Devastator. Uh, any of you guys out there happen to have built this one yourself? I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to see it, actually. Um, love to see some builds. So, that ends... The, oops. Let's get this back in here. That ends this quick unboxing of the 1974 Monogram Devastator TBD-1. I'm not sure when I'll get to this one. I still got a couple on the bench over here to finish up, finish painting. But it'll be soon. All right. If you made it to the end, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, y'all have a great night, okay? Catch you later.